Want to do some art together? Well, I'm so glad you're here because that's exactly what we're doing. So I have my sketchbook right here and we are going to be filling a spread together in my sketchbook. Let's open up our sketchbook to an empty page. I'm really excited for today's video because we are going to be using some really cool acrylic markers. These are the Art X Simp Tap markers and they are kindly sponsoring today's video. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I've been loving their products for years. In fact, this giant bin right here is full of my other Art X acrylic paint markers. I love these ones so much. I have been using them for a long time now and I'm constantly going back to them, so that's why they have this dedicated bin in my art room now. Anyway, let's do some art in my sketchbook and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about these markers. So these, as I said, are the Simp Tap acrylic markers and there's 24 of them in here. Oh my goodness, the packaging is so cute. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> so here's the barrel of the marker and something that's really cool with these, when you take the lid off, you see this brush nib here, right? Well, you can still shake it up. Hear that satisfying sound? We all love and know that sound from a good acrylic paint marker. Now this is what's really unique and cool about these markers. There's a top valve design and you press it. That releases the paint and it's going into the nib now. So here's the nib now that it is full. Honestly, I like this top valve thing because I feel like with a lot of acrylic markers, when you have to like press the actual nib to the paper to get the acrylic paint flowing, I don't know, I feel like I'm damaging the nib sometimes. So this is really nice because I know that the brush nib is not getting damaged in the process. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I do. Okay, so let's just test it. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is amazing. <gasps> wow, that is just one swipe. One swipe, it went on so smoothly. <laughs> Okay, I'm so excited to draw with these. Honestly, I feel like just doing this part is relaxing. It's like that's an activity in itself. Let's swatch another one. My favorite color. Wow, beautiful. That's just one swipe. I can't get over that. The coverage is just amazing. Wow. Okay, so just so you can see what it looks like, here's a completely full nib. Okay, so I'm going to swatch all of these and then we are going to do some art on the next page. So here are all the swatches that I did with these markers. And as usual with our X acrylic markers, the coverage is just amazing. Before we get started with drawing, I just wanna say a couple things. These are super affordable acrylic paint markers. If you've noticed on my channel for the last like year, I have stopped using major name brand acrylic paint markers because our X markers are so amazing. And yeah, I just want to show you with my drawing how good these markers work because I'm all about bringing you folks some affordable, high quality art supplies. So with that being said, I'm going to be linking these markers down below and if you want them for yourself, feel free to click the link and get them. Let's continue. Okay, so I'm feeling something really cutesy today and so I think what I want to do is a cat and it's just gonna be like hanging out and sleeping on the moon. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I decided to make the cat like not sleeping and have it be wide awake because it's really adorable. Let's lighten these pencil lines. Okay, let's color in the base color of the cat and then we'll start layering. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is color the moon. Right now I'm just blocking everything in. Since these are paint markers, you can get away with doing that and layering, and it's really nice. Ugh, this yellow is such a beautiful color. I think I wanna take this red and do like heart-shaped blush. Ooh, so cute! And then I will lighten it up with this white. Ugh, that's perfect. <laughs> so now I need to outline this cat and start doing some details on it. Yeah. 
What a little cutie. Okay, let's take this beautiful orange color and outline the moon. I think it would be so fun to do a little sleepy face for the moon. <laughs> so cute. Oh, it would be so cute to do a bunch of little star creatures floating around too. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, now I'm gonna take this color and go like this. Okay, so I have a question of the day for you. What was the last thing you drew? I like to check in and ask you folks that from time to time because we all draw so many different things. And it's so interesting seeing like where our minds go. These brush nibs are so amazing and smooth. Ah, so smooth. I'm loving it. I feel like I have so much control over what happens with the marker. I just realized I didn't do the other whiskers on the other side. Whoopsie. Okay, let's do that. Let's outline all these stars and then we can put faces on them. Oh my goodness, all these little faces. <laughs> Okay, so I think I want to add like some texture to this little background with some fun little stars, but I'm going to make it like my own twist. So you're gonna see different colors here. Some white stars. Wow, this white is so nice. I really enjoy like style hopping and doing different things every week. Like a week ago, I was just doing impressionist flower paintings. And this week I'm doing cute cat illustrations in outer space. I just feel so lucky to be able to draw every day. <laughs> Ooh, I should make the tail have stripes. Wouldn't that be fun? Wow, I'm glad the coverage on these markers is so good because I just changed my mind with the color of the whiskers and changed them to white. So glad I did that. Ooh, I should do little stripies here too. It'd be so cute. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Okay, I'm gonna lighten up the ears. How stinking cute is that? That was so fun to make. Okay, so we did one page in our sketchbook, but I'm really feeling this, so we have to do the whole spread now. Hmm, okay, so for this one, it'd be really fun to do some sort of like flower pot. Okay, and a little handle, because this is gonna be a cute coffee mug. Has it been really cold where you are? Let me know. It has been freezing here in Ohio, as with a lot of the world right now. But something that I have been enjoying has been lots of tea and coffee lately. I have been doing cardamom chai lattes. What has been your cozy drink of choice? Let me know. Okay, I'm going to do the plant now and I'm hoping it turns out extra fun. Bear with me, it will change. <laughs> now we're gonna do a bunch of leaves. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, I'm gonna take this color for the centers of the leaves and do these splotches. I have a Hoya, which I will have to show you, that has leaves kind of like this. And that's actually what I'm drawing right now. Oopsie, happy accidents. We can cover it up later. 
I am loving this color, oh my goodness. Ooh, I should do this color in the back. You know what, I think I want to outline these leaves with this color too. I love this marker, <laughs> my favorite color. So now I'm kind of feeling the faces on everything. So we're doing faces again. How cute. This is so relaxing. Like I needed this today for sure. Okay, I kind of want to do like a fun background with this. Ooh, wait, I have an idea. Okay, so I need to cover this up because I accidentally did that. How fun would it be to do a flower background? Cause it's like already plant themed. We should do a cream color center on these flowers. I am so glad that this set came with this cream color marker. It's so good for last minute details, but also I just feel like a lot of marker sets ignore like the creamier colors and this is perfect. It's not stark white, but it's a nice cream color. It's so good for something like this. Ooh, I just noticed that you can see the paint in the marker right here. Ooh, that's so cute. There is nothing like a good sketchbook session with just some fun, happy, heartwarming illustrations. Like, look at that plant. Look at the moon and the cat. I am so glad that I asked you folks on my YouTube community tab a couple weeks ago, like what kind of stuff do you want to see this year? Because a lot of you said more just sit down, draw with me, simple, cozy type videos. So that is kind of what I was hoping for for today was to just have some fun, some lighthearted fun drawing being cozy it is currently snowing outside and we're just drawing cute things in our sketchbooks together and geeking out over these markers there is something that i forgot to mention earlier with these markers by the way but this valve here that you press to get the acrylic paint flowing through the marker i really like it being at this end rather than this end because for other acrylic paint markers that I have used in the past, like when you're pressing on the page to activate your marker and then paint goes everywhere, like that is scary. <laughs> and I mean, I can do that on a swatch page, but like sometimes I do it while I'm drawing and I ruin my drawing. So these, with the fact that the valve is on the other end of the marker, I feel like it has given me a lot more control over my drawings and I know that the marker will not explode on my drawing. Um, I don't know why this is like not a common thing, but our X, you are onto something. So thank you for putting it on this end, like lifesaver, complete game changer. <laughs> I just wanted to say that because that is like the scariest thing with acrylic paint markers, in my opinion, is when the activating mechanism is in the nib of the marker. This, awesome. I also just really love all the colors. I am a soft pastel colored girly through and through. You know that. So this cream color marker is probably my favorite. These markers are also super easy to mix. Like for the blush on this cat, I did red and I did white. Worked perfectly. And guess what? This marker nib is just fine after mixing. Anyway, here are the two drawings that I did. I really enjoyed this. And RX, thank you so much for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. Once again, if you're interested in these markers, I will link them in my video description. The coverage is amazing. I can't say enough good things about them. And you can still shake them. Anyway, I'm just geeking out over here and having a lot of fun. Also, of these two drawings, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. If you wanna see more like sit down, sketch with me and hang out type videos, let me know in the comments because I will definitely do this more 
I also have a sketchbook ideas video in the works right now. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you made anything while we hung out, let me know in the comments as well. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.